What if one tiny upgrade to your link could boost your click-through rate by making them visually resistible and in turn send stronger signal to Google about your site relevance? This episode is brought to you by Hosting.com, the trusted hosting partner built for agencies and creators. With optimized WordPress performance, expert support, and scalable plans, Hosting.com helps agencies deliver faster, more reliable websites. Explore hosting plans designed for pros at Hosting.com. According to Search Pilot, internal linking is still one of the top methods SEO Pro use to pass link juice or link equity on the money site and this also help google crawl deeper pages and you can tell that the more google crawls your pages the more visibility you have in search engines which can also equate to more traffic which can equate to more clicks more purchases uh, as the case would be i think i should show you the links on this demo website this is a link. Uh, this is also a link. You tell me, which link would you click first? Which of the link here appeals to you? This simple visual upgrade changes user behavior and the SEO math behind it. In today's video, I'll show you a free WordPress plugin that can turn ordinary links into magnet, helping your affiliate links, internet link, product links, and external link outperform plain text. Stick around, I'm Dabs, and I'll be right back. I have a demo website here for tutorial purpose. Let me show you this plugin real quick that will help you do this magic. Let's come to plugins. Let's come to hard uh, plugin. And here, let's search for visual link preview. And then I have it as the first plugin here. The images are not popping. Maybe that's my internet. I don't know, but let's install this plugin. Fantastic plugin here, and let's activate this plugin. That's everything we want to do for this plugin. We have this plugin set, so we can just come to settings here. We'll see an option here for visual link review. If you click this, this is where you get to make certain changes to this plugin. But I don't want us to spend time here. Let's just go to the post. Let's go to all posts. Let's open this in a new tab. Uh, let's see the post. So these are the posts I have here. Let me come to the front end here. Let's come to our blog post here. Let's see them front end. You can see them three them, three of them here. Fantastic. So now let's edit one of them. Uh, so let's edit this. Now we can begin to add link. Instead of us now adding links to our post and then we come where I light some text here. We just do links. And then we begin to type the URL we want to type, whether it is a product, it is a link, that's old school. So now let's add visual links here. Let's just come here and let's search for visual link. You can see we have visual link preview from here. So here now we can search whatever post that we want to uh, maybe link to. Let's say I want to add a link to another blog post that I have on this WordPress website. So if I come here. Okay, let me say I want to uh, link to the heart of drawing. So now I can just search for my post here. I can type in. So I have the heart of drawing here. I can just use this post. Immediately we do that, we can see that we now have a link preview here, which is fantastic. So you might just not love how this is displayed now. You want to make changes to this. Let's say, for example, this text is too much. Basically, we can just come to the far right corner here. You can see we have our content here. So I can begin to maybe just uh, reduce the text from here to just make that text a lot shorter. Something like this. Let's say again, I'm still don't like this. I want to maybe change the image. I want to use a different image completely. I can do that here by changing the image or just removing the image completely. Also, I have options here to open this in a new tab. That might be extremely important. And I might also maybe want to add a no follow link to this. In case this is not a link I trust, I don't want to pass link juice to that link. 
that's literally up to you but that's extremely important for seo right we can still come down here to change our template so if we come down here we have quite a number of templates here from basic to compact to spotlight so if we change this to spotlight let's see how that will show you can see this um, I said this image is not good and I want to change this image or I can also still uh, do some settings around the image here and I'll show you exactly how to customize the link preview entirely. Uh, I might want to make this compact so let's see how that will display. You can see that I can choose to basic. You see that. So that's it for this so I can just... Maybe leave this the way it is for this image here i might want to change the image in case you have a bigger image uh, let's go to our media library i'm not sure i have images on here let me just work with any random image from here okay you can see this but this is not maybe still looking good i might still want to maybe reduce the text here maybe i take it somewhere down to this here so now this look more very compact there's an image there and there's a text there people can easily just uh, see this because this is just distinct from the page and people can easily click through this i think this is amazing right so let's uh, still had uh, another example let's say for example here we want to add an external link for example let's come to visual link preview here Let's just search for any external link. Maybe I should use Seok Media. Uh, let's see that. Uh, we can use this URL. By default here, the plugin will pull the meta description of that URL. So you can see I have a logo here. I have a title here. And then I have a tagline here. Super amazing, right? You can see this. These are beautiful, beautiful links. Let's say, for example, again, you want to maybe add a link to your product. Uh, we can come down here and let's come to visual preview here let's search for let's just change this post type so we can link to posts to pages to products so even forms right uh, so let's say we have a product here so i can just say let me search for any random product so you see i have a product here called tote bag um i want to use this you can see that maybe for this one here i want to change the template i want to make this spotlight Good, but what will make sense for this is for us to have a very big image. Uh, we can come here to probably maybe change the image too as well to maybe something entirely big. One of the things I really don't like about this plugin is not giving us the option to customize things. For example, I might not want to maybe use this text here as read more. I might want to maybe say buy this product, something like that. Uh, so, uh, but read more definitely takes you to uh, the product page for you to read more and then for you to buy. So you can't really have a quick call to action. But the idea is for this to help you elevate, uh, for you to put uh, action around the links that you want to sell. But this is quite very, very good. So in case you want to customize this further, you don't like the background, you want to have a, maybe a different color background for your link preview, you want to change maybe the border, you want to have a different color, you want this to be consistent with your brand color, there's an option for that. So let's come back to the settings, maybe here. Uh, then from here, you can see static template, you can just toggle this on, and from here, you can specify the max width for your container, your background color, you can specify that here. Uh, the padding, uh, you can also specify that here. For also for our border, for border radius is set to zero. You can maybe play around with 10 to 20 to see how that would look like. And uh, then our border width is one. If you want to make that a little thicker, uh, these you want to make this a border thicker, you can maybe do two or three for you to see how that would work. Uh, so the border style here is just basic solid here. You can see you can make this dashed. Uh, double groove you can play around with all of those you can also change the border color as you saw earlier uh, for the image right now to the left you can see the size so here you might just want to uh, play with your image size so this is where we get limitation on our size which is by default 150 by 150 but the idea about a link is for you to be as light as possible uh, so the smaller the best so for me here i'll leave this the way it is but you can play around with this you can change this to 1000 by 1000 pixels or maybe one five or maybe one nine twenty by 1080 whatever it is that work for you for your image size would be perfect 
Uh, so for your image, Buddha radius, you can have that again. For your text, you can see you can play around with the text front, the colors. Uh, for the summary too as well, you can play around with the text there and color. And I think that's pretty much everything you can do from here. Once you're done, you can just save changes and then you can cancel changes. So that's it for uh, these. If you're okay with whatever it is here, you can go and just uh, publish your changes and then you can view your post. Uh, so that's it. If I scroll down right now, I'll be able to see my link. So if I click this right now, this should take me to uh, this post here, which is super amazing. So if I come back here, if I click this right now, this should just take you to a uh, WordPress website here. How super cool and amazing is this? So that's exactly how to do this, guys. So if you come here, if you click into this, this should take you to this uh, post here for you to buy this product. So that's exactly how you can improve the quality of the link you have on your WordPress website using this amazing free plugin. Do you think this plugin is amazing? Do you want to test this out? If you have tested this out and you have used it before, what's your experience? Do you like this plugin? Drop all your feedback in the comment section. I will be super excited to hear that back from you. That's my time for this tutorial. If you find it useful, do well to give this video a like. Subscribe to see more awesome tutorials like this on this channel. I am Dabs and I will see you in another one.